facilitate non-oil export trade to salvage Nigeria's economy. We need to improve the efficiency of our logistics. Um, we need to come together uh, the Nigerian export promotion that I've done, you know, quite a lot as far as export promotion. Because for every year, you see these exports rising. So which means Nigerian Export Promotion Council is doing a lot in stimulating this export. We need, we need also to look at the, uh, as I said, logistics, infrastructure, the ports. There must be special terminals for export of certain commodities so that we imbibe this tradition, this practice, this culture. I want to say finance is not the major issue itself. To be frank with you, the France, what is issue is issue of capacity building, which Mr. Madu said is very key because you don't give money to somebody who cannot manage it. You don't give somebody who can put money on a product for export only to discover that he doesn't know what the CIF, CNF is, um, uh, FOB means. He doesn't know what the meaning of uh, F and uh, CNF and all that. So the most important thing to do is capacity. And we're able to, most able to create this capacity, you know, to the exporters, to the, to the emerging exporters. So then they create, so then when you have the capacity and the quality of what you want to do, that you are talking of money. Well, this is infrastructure is responsible for very high cost of doing business. At some point in time, exporters know that the cost of some commodities locally is higher than the international market price. So, how do you compete? Exporters need incentives to be able to, 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 to kind of cushion the effect of this absolute lack of competitiveness that we have in, uh, in our uh, exports.